evening. Can anybody hear me? Is anybody there? Oh, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Carla, Brenda, and Francisco. Good evening. How are you doing? Fine. Teacher, I, ha I have a, um, a car accident. I, I waiting for the um, seguro. Maybe insurance I have to. Company. Oh. For sure. Maybe are you I have okay? To, Yes, I'm okay, but it's raining and it was very difficult and some car wow. um, hit and I, I'm waiting for the assurance. Maybe I have to to disconnect for some minutes for the yeah. inspection. Okay, I got it. Well, I, I'm glad that you're okay and I hope that everything is um, solved uh, on your favor, right? With no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, Diana and Elizabeth, can you hear me? Hey, hey Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's it going? Cool. Good. Yes. How was the weekend? Cool. Normal. No good, no bad. What's a normal weekend for you? Um, for example, uh, the Saturday I, I work, uh, uh, normal days. Mm, the Sunday, mm, in the morning, uh, was to, was to go to buy uh, the baseball and other elements to to the cook for the week. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. In the <coughs> I cannot hear you. Buy, Okay, now I hear you. Okay. Okay, go to the church. Okay, I got it. That's really nice. Taking some time for that. Suleyma and Blanca, Merlin, and Jennifer, welcome. Thank you, teacher. How are you? Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. I'm really good. Happy to see you again. Did you have a good weekend? I had that connection. Hi, uh, oh. good evening. Good evening, Jackie. Okay, so we're going to uh, get started. I see that some of your classmates are having some work to do, some issues at work. So they're, they're not home yet. Like we see Suleyma, right? She's still at work, uh, but she's here. So thank you so much for your responsibility, guys. I appreciate that a lot. So, um, Well, let's see what happens. It's Monday, so probably some of your classes are stuck in traffic and uh, they're on their way home. That's a possibility on Monday. There's usually more traffic than usual, same as Fridays. But the difference is that on Monday, people are not so motivated, right? 
Uh, hi, Diana. Good to see you. Uh, for when, some people, money is not our payday. When are paydays too? It's too much oh, traffic. Yeah, paydays are complicated, but at the same time, good, right? <laughs> so uh, we're going to see who else is here. Floor. Hello, teacher. Hi, Floor. I am arriving my house. Okay, you're arriving home. That's that's great. Okay, we're waiting for you and the rest of your classmates. We're going to uh, get started. Uh, Mariela is coming now. One second. Okay, so we're uh, starting the week number three. So, I mean, week number three, number four. We finished week three last week. So uh, we're getting closer, right, to finish this uh, module. And you're getting ready for the next one, I am sure. Uh, remember to send the information, right, so they, uh, you can be ready for the next one. Uh, don't forget about the attendance and the evaluations and activities that you need at least 80%, right? So uh, I think the majority of you have been very responsible with uh, the assignments and, uh, and the attendance. Uh, some of you, of course, have to catch up, right? And do a little bit more work. But um, we have this week and the next one to finish with everything we have to do and to learn. So uh, it is nice to have you. And I hope that this week is very productive and uh, very, let's say, interesting or entertaining for you as well, because it's a combination of both, right? That's my purpose. So Freddy, it's good to see you. Are you in Hollywood right now? <laughs> I used to go to Hollywood. Ah, I imagine that. I have never been to Hollywood, but I, I imagine that it's really good. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Cool place. I used to get the offer on January. Coca-Cola always bring you an offer that when you buy a ticket on January and you present a, a Coca-Cola can that says, Universal Studios, they give you the whole year ticket free. Actually, you, ah. you, pay, you pay just that, you pay that day when you go, but the whole year you get it for free, excluding okay. the, the holidays. Nice. Okay, so that was a, a, a little commercial <laughs> sponsored by Coca-Cola. Yeah. Now we're going, we're going to- That's why uh, I love Coca-Cola. <laughs> Okay, uh, who else is here? Let me check. Laura, uh, Harbin, welcome. Hi, good, e good evening. Good evening. Mariela, you have a lot of books. <laughs> do, you like, do you like reading? No, when I drive in. Okay, now I hear trying. Okay, good. So uh, we're going to get started. I'm going to take the attendance so you can say here or present, right? And then we start with today's class. So uh, the first person in the list is Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Right on time, Beatriz. Yes. Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. I'm here. I'm working. Oh. I'm here. What a workaholic you are. Uh, let me check. Mariela. I'm here. Okay, Brenda is. Then we have I'm Carla. Here. Okay, thank you, Brenda. Hi, Carla. I'm here. Great. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Diana. I'm here. Thank you, Diana. Floor. She was arriving home, right? Okay, perfect. I'm here. Francisco. Present. Laura. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Harvin. 
present teacher. Great. Uh, Jennifer. I'm your teacher. Juan Jose. Not here yet. Um, Karen. Present. Hey, you made it. Uh, okay, Maritza told me that she has some uh, connection problems. So she's not sure she's going to be here. Merlin. I'm here. Merlin, is it true that you are the youngest one in this group? Yes. Okay, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot of echo, echo, echo. Okay. Yes, I'm 21 years old. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Who's laughing there? Is that Suleyma? Yes, I'm working with Suleyma. Okay, that's cool. So no, let's, not so cool? Okay. It's in school, it's in school. Okay, let's see who else is here. Miguel, are you there? No, Miguel's not here right now. So we continue with Rolando. Hello, hello. Hi, welcome. Hello. Uh, Ruth? Not here uh, yet. Suleyma? Yes, I'm here to church. Yanari? Jackie? I'm here. Blanca? And I'm here. Freddy's. Okay. Here, teacher. Perfect. So, what? Here, teacher. Freddy's here. Where, where, where? Okay, perfect. I see her now. <laughs> yes. Are you working too? Okay. Just a little, uh, to 9 p.m., I'm yeah. going free. Okay, okay, perfect. And uh -huh. Suleyma and uh, Merlin, what time do you finish work? Around. Sorry, teacher. The in, well, I don't know how to say that. There's, in, there's interference, that's correct. There's interference. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I finish uh, at 9 p.m., but sometimes I have to do something, and I left at 9.15, and then I have to, right. to go to my house, and then I write to 9.30 around that. Wow. Depends on the day. Depends on my job. Depends on the day, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I suppose you're used to that somehow, right? And so we're, there's a lot of noise near here. So as you can, I don't know if you can hear, there's someone preaching and I don't know, it sounds like they are talking to 100 people, but they're just like five. So uh, <laughs> I don't know why they need the big speakers. However, it's just on Monday, so. Let's try to ignore that. And I'm going to send you directly to the breakout rooms right now so that you can start with the, with the first activity. As you already know, we have a speaking activity at the beginning. So to activate your language, right? Your language, language skills, your production skills. And uh, also to think a little bit about different topics. So. Uh, what's for today, okay? So we have the, a quick review and vocabulary practice. Um, but the, as there's a lot of noise, okay, I'm not going to ask you too much right now. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you are going to talk about wishes. Okay, so why wishes? Because everybody has wishes, dreams, goals, and it's interesting to know, okay, what things you are interested in and what things you like or you want. Uh, so you're going to share that with your classmates. I will send you the, 
the link through the chat right away. Wait a second. Uh, wait up, wait up. Okay, here it is. Okay, so then, uh, no, wait, everybody. So here it is, ready? You will have five minutes, guys, a uh, maximum six to talk about the questions that appear in that website. So you can, you will be in purse, okay? Some of you will be in groups of three, but that's not a problem. So uh, we have 20 participants. We're going to create seven, eight. Okay, that will be seven will be okay, or eight maximum. So ready, set, and go. Three, three, two, and two. Perfect, accept the invitation, please. Nice. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, I, I have a problem. I have a problem. Can you please I'm going send to assign me? it to a room? Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. That's okay. And in the next day, then mm -hmm. all is mm -hmm. over. Oh, yeah, wow. but you will you will feel good. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Okay, yes. let's start to work. Okay. I see. I have a. Can you I take any pill, Brenda? Uh, yeah, acetaminophen. Just that. I'm in the fan, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe one that it's uh, for like allergies will be good. Which one? For allergies, like Loratadine uh -huh. or something like that. Uh -huh. Could work in case of you have any symptoms related to mm -hmm. reactions, right? Um, uh -huh. Yeah. I'll try that thing. I will, and that will help you to fall asleep as well. So, uh, <laughs> okay, I will try that. Okay, perfect. So, if you cannot talk too much, that's okay. You can ask the questions, and Rolando, I'm sure he will be glad to answer them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. I see you. Okay. okay. Well, but I, I, I do. I don't have the link. Travel around the world. And the third one is with that money, um, save the whole animals on the street. Ah, uh, that's good. <laughs> okay. If you could choose only one of these come true, which will leave children because for the noise, but it has also. 
<laughs> I yes, I have I have two two dogs that are like my baby. And I I have other other baby that is some of my of my dog that we are looking for a, a home. Is your grandson? Is my grandson? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We we think that my sister could take it with her to United States, but now the restrictions are changed. So we we think that maybe will be impossible. Yeah, I heard about that restriction. Oh, yes, teacher. It's too difficult. Yes, because we have until tomorrow, no. The 15, I think, right? Yes, and we try to make the papers, but he is two months. And and he has to he has to be six four. Six, four. Uh, four? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so we can we don't we don't know what what is gonna happen with with him. Oh my goodness, so cute. Oh, so cute. Yes. It, no, 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 no. It's called a boo. Like Abu. Aladdin monkey. Ah, uh -huh. a boo. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. Yes, but it's a problem now. Ah, uh, yes. Mm hmm. Well, if I know about someone who is interested uh, in San Salvador, I will let you know. Okay, but you you have to be sure because yes, about I, the person. Yes, because yes. I know many many people, but I have to be sure. Yeah, I know my my friends love dogs, so if any of them wanted one, I I will be sure that that. He or she will okay. take care of him. Yeah. Okay. If he is a Mal Maltese. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So it, it, it will be tiny. Uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you in a moment, ladies. Me neither. Okay. Next question. Have, have you salary. ever had a. You have a better salary. <laughs> what? <laughs> And then the other wish is that the teacher could get a better salary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... Thank you for the wish. Know. Okay. Have you ever had a wish come true? Have you ever had a wish come true? That. In my person? Mm. Yeah. Actually, I thought you were asking the teacher. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just an spectator, a visitor. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can give us your, you can tell too. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I have had dreams come true. Uh, one of the most important was to get a scholarship abroad. So I went to travel to another country to, to study or something. So I got it. Where do you study at? In the U.S. and in Costa Rica. That's nice. What state? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, I was up in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> how, how is the weather in that state? It's cold. It's cold. Because really? it's around. I yeah, love it's, it's, it's the north. Cold weather. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really nice. In winter, it snows, right? It snows in winter. The winter is coming. <laughs> okay, so now you can answer, Freddy's. Okay. okay. Teacher, I couldn't understand the meaning of the question four. Question four. Uh, how have okay. your wishes changed since you were young? 
For example, when you were young, maybe you, you said, uh, I want to get married when I am 25. And now ah, you are 25 and like, mm, how, how your I'm not sure. have been changed. Uh -huh, well, that so the the one way and now uh, you have a different wish. Mm -hmm. uh, Got it. Like maybe when you were younger, you said, I want to have children. I want to do this. And now it's like, mm, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. So you, mm. you change your mind. Uh, or you said, no, in the past, I wanted to have three children. But now maybe just one. Uh -huh, so there's a little modification, right? <laughs> okay. When I was young, I, I think that I don't have children, but now have. I have it too. <laughs> I have it uh, too. <laughs> Are you <see>? yeah. <laughs> Two daughters. As example. Can, excuse me? For, uh, in my case, why was the study there? So after I have to leave because my, my girlfriend at that time was pregnant. So I have to start to work. After that, and you had to, and, and you had to, and you had to start to 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 work. Yes, and I ha I have to start to work. After that, I I I was talking with my boss at that time, and I I say it. Hey, I want to learn English. I was studying before. Give me the opportunity. And they told me, yes, do it. English is so good. Do it. Okay, I I do it. And I was study for around one year and a half, and I finished English, but in Aditka. But I go to the class just for go. I didn't study. I understand that. I, I just, understand. I just was pass and pass and pass level, and I don't feel learning anything. Imagine so. I start to start an <laughs> English corporativo last year. I study for one year. Oh. Um, I think that doesn't change my wishes through the time. I have need that too. I have, really? only, I have only one daughter and I have a colors. <laughs> Entrance. De, de todos los colores. All colors. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when only daughter. White hairs, I don't know how to say the las canas. I don't know. Um teacher, how do you say canas? Gray, gray hair. Gray hair. Mm. Yeah. Oh, mm. I have only one daughter. Um I have I thought you were going hair. to say I, I only have one gray hair. <laughs> you really scared me <laughs> because I'm waiting for my first child. I don't know, uh, girl or boy, and that's a scare me. Why? Why? No, don't scare Diana. Don't scare because Diana. Because Francisco her, say that <laughs> he has gray hair with just one girl. No, it's okay. You can paint it. You can, you can, you can dye, dye it. Uh, okay. I'm diet. Yeah, dye it. But I don't know diet because. <laughs> You're so funny. It's only one. <laughs> You're so funny, Francisco. Uh, no. I'm Francisco. So, to, how do you say herencia, teacher? Heritage. Heritage to my my grandfather. From your grandfather, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I don't have children and I think I got a gray hair somewhere in my beard. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, so it's something natural that happens eventually. You don't have, have children. No, I'm not. I don't. I, well, actually, I'm not married, so that's mm, that's, that's why. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now no, yeah. that I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a okay. nice joke. Some people laugh. <laughs> some people get serious when they say that. I'm like, yeah it's a joke yeah okay. so we have just one more minute guys okay okay see Thank you in a moment so don't scare diana <laughs> you actually left 
Yes, the, the, the when when the daughter brown is is wow. She's very active. <laughs> yes, my daughter is very very active. Active. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. How old are her? Uh she's tomorrow is is her bear biter. Her birthday. Friday, huh? birthday, yes. Um, she's uh, five years old. She turned five. Oh, yes. yes five. That age. Okay, so we're back. Uh, well, I heard the, the, the answers and it was interesting to hear everybody's opinion about the same topic. Uh, however, because of time, we have to move on, as I told you. And, uh, well, what do you remember, basically, from the last week or from the unit number one? If you have to mention, for example, a vocabulary, what are some words that you remember from the previous unit? Mention at least five words that we learn or that we practice. And you remember? Would be, wouldn't be. Oh, so that, that is about grammar, right? So we started uh, how to use would be better. Uh huh. Very good. To express. Dispenser. Dispenser. Yes. Good. What else? Remember that we were talking about food, right? Any other word? Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Yeah, we're trying brainstorm. to brainstorm, right? That's yeah. correct. Yeah. Uh, affordable. 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 Yeah, that's a good word. Affordable. When you get, when you have the capacity to pay for something, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is. This is. Yeah. I. I remember another. I, I write here. How do you say uh, economically stable? <laughs> economically stable, that would be the literal translation, right? Economically stable. Economically, economically stable. Stable. Stable, okay. okay. Uh, broth. Broth. Okay, that was something that I told you. That yeah, that's true. Broth. Chicken broth. For, for drink. For drink. Rings. Rings. Ring. I don't know the exactly pronunciation. Chicharrones. Ah, uh, pork pork rinds. Or rhymes. rhymes, rhymes, yeah, rhymes. That's right. So those are some of the words that we learned throughout the classes. But specific words, like you said, right? Dispenser. Uh, we had um, dirt. Dirt. Okay, those are some of the last words that we learned. That's correct. Uh, thaw. That was another word that we learned. That was to defrost the food, right? Uh, in order to prepare it or to cook it. So that was uh, something new for the majority of you. And uh, we were talking about personnel, right? Different uh, responsibilities of people who work at restaurants, uh, setting the table, right? Uh, or assisting the customer or addressing the customer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, now, we're going to get started with the, with the unit number two, uh, which, is oh, three, sorry. So we have the number one, two, and the three, we're monitoring personnel. So we already talk about food, we already talk about occupations and responsibilities. And um, now we're going to discuss, okay, the following questions. 
The objective is to interpret information presented in a staff schedule chart. Okay, so question number one. Um, Blanca, can you please help us read? What is your daily schedule like at work? Okay, what is your daily schedule like at work? So, um, number two, Karen. Number two, who is, who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Okay, that's right. So everybody works, right? Everybody has different schedules, but we know, okay? We know that there is someone in charge of organizing a lot of things. So it's going to be just those two questions really fast, really quick. Uh, we're going to go back to the breakout rooms only for two minutes, okay? So just answer the question straight to the point, and then we come back. Okay, here we go. Two minutes begin when you start the conversation in the breakout room. Okay, that's a presentation, so you can join the breakout room. Check, one, two, three. Can you see the screen? Yes. yes. Okay. Who's the first one? What is your daily schedule? Jessica? What is your daily schedule like at work? Mm -hmm. well, yes. Normally from Monday to Friday to my job. Um, I start at 8 a.m., right? And, um, and my, uh, then I, I, I do some, some, something in my job. And I, I, I review some information from all, all day, but uh, we have, uh, little lunch lunch time from 12, 12 uh, to 1 p.m. Uh, 12, uh, 12, 12.20 to 1 p.m. Then uh, I give you some information because my, my area is in audit. Um, so I, I review so, uh, the information depend uh, what uh, activity uh, and uh, I have uh, uh, I'm in responsibility I have the responsibility and okay. I go out at, at 4 p.m. then I I I I, I went I I get up in my in my house uh, at between five five thirty, depend the traffic. And, okay. And uh, weekend on weekends, uh, I I get up <laughs> early, uh, uh, but and Saturday Sunday I get up late, and I clean my house and all things. Uh, in my in my in my house, and who is in charge of my 
in my in my company uh, we Okay, Fast and Furious Part we Nine. We need more time. Yeah, I know. I told you. Okay, you have to go straight to the point now. Uh, quickly, raise your hand. If, well, if your schedule is, let's say, Monday through Friday, from eight to five, raise your hand if your schedule is regularly from eight to five. Okay, so we have two, three people and Brenda's reaction. I don't know if it's if it's a That's yes or, awesome. or she's happy. Huh? That will be awesome. That will be awesome, okay. Raise your hand if your schedule is from seven to four or from seven to five. Okay, one, two. Or from eight, ah, okay, so it's from eight to four in the case of Gennady. Good. Now, raise your hand if you work on Saturdays. Raise your hand if you work on Saturdays. Five people, six, seven, okay, seven, eight. Eight participants, raise a hand. Okay. Uh, raise your hand if you work, if you work on Sundays curious about that. Raise your hand if you work on Sundays. Not every Sunday, but some Sundays, right? Okay, so Brenda, uh, Rolando. Okay, so we have three participants who work uh, on Sundays. Raise your hand if you have just one day off during the week. Okay, one, two. Sorry, teacher, what was the question? Raise your hand if you have just one day off during the week. Oh yeah. Maybe it's not Saturday or Sunday. You, you can take it on different, I mean, any other day, right? So it's just in, only one day. Okay, good. Uh, raise your hand if in your job, in your workplace, you have the possibility of working overtime. But pay. Paid, uh -huh. paid over time, uh -huh. paid over no. time. No. Okay, one, two, three, four That's people. For free. For free? Okay, I think everybody, right? I raised my hand too. <laughs> okay. Um, let me check, what else? Raise your hand if you have one hour for lunch at work. One hour for lunch. I have one, but I take one and a half, two. Okay, so around 10 people say, yes, I have one hour for lunch. Raise your hand if you have less than one hour. Less than one hour. Less than one hour, okay, Yanari says 40 minutes. Rolando, no. Less than one hour, maybe 45, 50 minutes. Okay, more than one hour. Who has more than one hour for lunch? One, Rolando. How much time do you have for lunch, Rolando? Yes. How much time do you have for lunch? Maybe two hours. Two hours. It depends. It depends. Good afternoon. Two hours. Afternoon. <laughs> okay. This depends the 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 activities to to have in this in the day. It, it depends if your if your boss sees you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> now we're going to move on, and well, this is just to have an idea, right? Of course, we're going to have more opportunities to talk about work and all these anecdotes and realities that we have to face. Um, depends if he has dates. Okay. Uh, I don't know what Brenda means with that, Brenda, but you can check the chat later. Now we're going to move on. Uh, I'm going to share the screen with you. Uh, who usually 
charge, uh, well, or who is in charge of creating the schedule at, at your workplace? Uh, I remember that Karen, you mentioned that you are in the human resources area. So um, are you in charge of that, of dealing with the schedule? Mm, not really. In each side, uh, each manager uh, proposed uh, their own schedule and I just can make changes in central office. Oh, okay, got it. I forgot, one more question. Who works in a place that they have rotating schedules? Like uh, maybe today you work in the morning and you finish in the afternoon. Maybe tomorrow you work in the afternoon and you finish uh, after night, right after midnight. Who has rotating schedules? Okay, let me check. We have uh, how many participants? One, two. So Karen and Ruth have rotating schedules. Okay. I'm not sure if that would be the word, but that's the way that I understand it, right? It's, uh, it's not a fixed schedule. So um, is there, who is in charge of, of doing that? So managers, your companies where you work, guys, who is in charge of the schedule? Is it the company, is it the manager? The manager uh, of the account. Uh, okay. I know Every that at, uh -huh, at call centers, I know there are a lot of different, uh, I don't know, schedules and times, right? And uh, people in charge of different things. I don't like that, that the schedule rotates. <laughs> Yeah, I know. For some people, it's complicated, okay? Especially if they study and work. So uh, we're going to move on, guys. Uh, that is just to activate your previous knowledge about the topic. So we're going to take turns uh, with this conversation. Uh, so we have Ruben and Jenny, okay? Let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today uh, from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, is there any word that is new for you uh, in terms of pronunciation or, or the meaning? What does reminder mean, teacher? Okay, reminder is, uh, for example, when you have your cell phone, right? That you have a meeting, like today I had an appointment with a doctor and I forgot. So uh, you program a re or you schedule a reminder in your cell phone and there will be an alarm or a little message, right? A little alert that will tell you, you have a meeting today. So, uh, or when somebody tells you, hey, don't forget, I, I tell you, right? Don't forget that this is the week number four and you have to catch up with the activities in the platform. Don't okay. forget that next week we have the final test and you are like, okay, thanks for the reminder, teacher. So it's just uh, something that somebody tells you to remember, right? Uh, so that's a reminder. Thank you. You're welcome. It's usually for a pending task, right? Something that you will have you have to do. Okay, uh, anybody else? May I have the a... meaning of hostess? Hostess. Okay, so a hostess, well, it's for, for female, right? For women. Uh, the host is for men. Uh, so depending on the on the context, right? For example, if I have a party and I invite my friends, I am the host. Uh, so the hostess uh, is a person in charge of uh, receiving or assisting right people uh, in different contexts. In a restaurant, a uh, hostess would be the woman, for example, who is uh, welcoming everybody, right? Is making sure that everything works properly. But this is not the manager. Yeah, it's something to understand the translation. 
No, uh, not necessarily. I mean, it can be, right? It can be. I mean, uh, as you can see in the conversation, uh, it's amphitryon. Amphitryon. Uh -huh. That's correct. So it could be the manager, but it can be somebody else, specifically in that position. Okay. Because, yeah, in, when, for example, when somebody goes to your workplace, a special visit, right? So it's like, hey, um, you, let's suppose that you work as, I don't know, I work as a teacher, right? And somebody visits the place where I work, my workplace, my boss can tell me, hey, Freddie, could you please uh, receive or be the host of the, of the visits that we have today? So I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So I am the person in charge in that moment, but it's not my, my job specifically. So, uh, but in some places, yes, they have someone who is specifically working in that position as a host, who is going to make sure that the customers or the visitors are uh, assisted properly. They have everything they need, that everything is okay. The food, the place, the music, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So, um, yeah, good question. Yeah, that's a hostess. It's for women and for men, it's host. Um, so if there are no more questions, we're going to uh, go back to the breakout rooms, okay? You're going to come, I mean, you're going to be coming back and forth, right? Going and coming uh, in the breakout rooms because we have different activities where you have to share with your classmates. So take a screenshot or have the manual ready because you're going to practice this conversation. So uh, here we go. For this, I will give you enough time. You will have four minutes. So you can do the, the two role plays, right? And your time begins. One second. Three. Here we go. Please accept the invitation now. Hi. Oh, Jackie and Ruth. From room two, from room four, and now. I was going to send you to room number three, but I, I made a mistake. So I sent you to number four, but it was number three because Ruth was okay. alone here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay, Ruth, I'm going to share the okay. screen. The screen. Wait a minute. Okay. Please. There is another teacher here. Sorry, but I can't cut. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, if uh, you want, uh, I can start like Ruben. Okay. For your reminder. Okay, let's change. Okay, let's, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have go, you have to start covering for ladies as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon of the, until 6 p.m. Will do, Roman. Will do, Laura. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, let's check. Your schedule for today, Laura. All right. 
You have to cover in four glasses of the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Jennifer. Thank you. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. Okay. Let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys at the hottest today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Laura. Thanks for the reminder. Let's okay. check. <laughs> okay, let's check your schedule for today, Laura. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the host today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We do, Jennifer. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jennifer. Hey, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys at the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until we Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. Mm, you start again? Okay. Oh, you're done. Yes. yes okay, yes. perfect. So I think that almost everybody's finished. So I'm going to call you back to the breakout room. I mean, to the main session, oh. right? All right, so uh, I think that everybody finished, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> there was only one group that had three participants, right? Um, that was, let me check, the room number. Five, that was Beatriz, Harvin, and Janari. So Beatriz, Harvey, and Yanari, did the three of you have the chance to do the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. Okay, perfect. So I need two volunteers, okay, to do the conversation uh, in the with the two roles. So Jennifer and Beatriz, you are the first ones. Go ahead. I'm going to share the screen so that you can do it in a better way. Okay. There you go. So Beatriz, you start the conversation. You're Ruben, let's say. And uh, Jennifer, you go with Jenny. Okay, let's share your schedule for today, Jenny. Okay. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We do, Beatriz. Thanks for the reminder. Awesome. Now we, you switch. So, Jennifer, you start uh, with the conversation, and then, Beatriz, you continue. One, two, three, go. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Beatriz. All right. You have to cover in for Gladys as the hostess from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Jenny. Thanks for the reminder. My pleasure. Okay, there you go. That's for them, please. You can use the reactions. And, well, 
I think that there's some, there was someone else that I, I don't want to skip, right? Uh, so it was, I think it was Laura who raised her hand. If there was somebody else. It was really, really nice. Like if you had practiced before, ladies. <laughs> Let's see. So we have, uh, okay, so Laura and Flor. Laura, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, so Laura, please start the conversation and Flor will continue. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hottest today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. The reminder. Okay, now you switch. So, Laura, you start the conversation. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much, ladies. I'm going to use the ta-da reaction. What is it? Here. Okay, perfect. So we're going to uh, move on. As you can see, this is a very simple conversation that could happen right at the work. Uh, speaking of uh, schedule. Now, uh, as one of the most important aspects for today's class is vocabulary, we're going to be practicing with the exercise number three. So this is building vocabulary. Before, uh, you can read the indications. Okay, I'm going to be taking the attendance right now. As you read what you're going to do. Okay, please don't start the exercise yet. Uh, Redis, are you there? I'm here. Blanca? I'm here. Jackie? I'm here, teacher. Nice. Janari? I'm here. Suleyma? Ruth? Rolando? I'm here. Excellent. Uh, okay, Ruth. Uh, Merlin? Karen? Present. Okay, Juan Jose is not present today. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Arvin? Present. Laura? I'm here. Francisco? Present, teacher. Laura? I'm here. Diana? Here. Carla? Brenda? I'm here. Mariela? I'm here. Elizabeth? I'm here. And Beatrix? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So uh, you're going to match the names of the staff members to the right description, right? So that's a piece of cake for you, I know. So in your notebook, to practice a little bit of writing, you are going to be uh, completing this exercise. And then you are going to discuss with the partner the questions in the exercise number four. Let's focus on the exercise number three right now. I am going to give you uh, enough time for you to write down and try to match the name of the staff member with the definition or description, right, of what this person is doing uh, at the workplace. So for that, I'm not sure how fast you are writing. I'm going to give you uh, an average of seven to eight minutes so you can complete it. And then we're going to share your answers. 
Okay, so ready, set, and go. You have to write down the definition with, or the description with the staff member that corresponds to that description, okay? Simple as that. Remember that when you're writing, you're not only practicing the, how to write fast or something, but also how to spell the words because we don't do that very often in English. So, good luck. Set up the timer. There you go. have any question or comments you can you can let me know okay we have only only match yeah you have to write down the, the descriptions and write down the correct staff member uh -huh, to that description oh. yes okay, okay. Now with the digital uh, or the virtual modality, we're not accustomed, right, to being writing everything. And we're accustomed to the cell phone and the computer, but believe me, okay, writing in English is necessary too when you're learning the language.
All right, so we got, yeah, just one more minute in case you haven't finished. Let's take a look. Okay, raise your hand if you, or use a reaction if you already have the descriptions in your notebook. Raise your hand, raise your hands, let me check. For some reason I don't see, okay. One, two, three, three reactions, only three people. Okay, so some people are probably finishing. And now, okay, floor two. Perfect. Right, so let's check. Uh, we're going to, uh, well, I'm going to send you to the breakout room so you can share in, and check if you have the same answers. If you have a different one, you can discuss and agree on which one is correct. And uh, I'm going to stop by each breakout room just to confirm that you have the correct answers. Okay, but this time will be in groups. So I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms so that there are more people in each one. That will be six times. Okay, so I will create just six breakout rooms. Just in case, here we go. Please accept the invitation now and share your answers. Is the cashier? Yes. A person in chair of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards is the kitchen manager. Chef. Ah, Chef. Okay. Chef. Chef. Number one. Chef. Okay. And what about and what about a person who hires staff purchase food and make sure everyone is trained? Who is this person? Kitchen no, manager. Number, number four. four. Yeah, kitchen manager. Manager. And Carla, uh, who is the person? Is is a is a waiter oh, or waiter waitress who waiter. attends customer with food and drink? Who is this person? Uh, it's server. Yes, yeah, server. Uh, I have a executive chief. Number one. Yes, number one. Correct. Okay. A waiter or waitress who attends customer with food and drink. I have a number two server. Correct. We have the same answers. And the last one, number three. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's the last one. You have to read the definition. We have the description. Ah, okay. A, per a person who greets arriving guests, welcome them into a restaurant and sees them. 
That's right. Be number three, fast. That that that's a word. It's hard to me for pronunciation. It's hostess. It's hostess. Hostess, yeah, the hostess. Hostess. Host and we, uh, yeah, we have the host and the hostess. Hostess. Hostess as for her. Yeah, it's for women. That's correct. For men, it's host. And the other word that is not easy for me is schedule. Schedule? Schedule. Schedule. The things they have to make the sound is schedule. 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 Uh, schedule. And this and the other one is hostess, right? Hostess. 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 So the stress is at the beginning and you have the whole, right? Hostess. Is at the, at the end, hostess. Hostess. Yeah, hostess. That's right. Okay, so I think the time is up. I'm going to call everybody because I need okay. to practice pronunciation too. Good. Okay. Alrighty, so we have the, uh, let me check. One, two, three. Okay, so I, almost everybody's, yeah, everybody's back. I see Freddie, Karen, Beatrice, Rolando, and Jackie on the camera only. And, uh, okay, there is Francisco, perfect. Mariela. So guys, we already have the answers. However, uh, something that I noticed is that we need to pay attention to the pronunciation of the vocabulary that appears in the descriptions. So for that reason, I decided to take you back here so that you can practice with me and then you will practice in the breakout rooms one more time. So uh, number one, uh, executive chef, what do you have for that one? Let's use the annotation. Let's use the annotation okay. here. So we're going to use the a person who greets. No. Secretary Chef. A person in charge of creating menus. Person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and food restaurants, that's correct. What about server? Where do you a place? waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. That's correct. Yes, okay, I didn't see that you raised your hand, Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, the next one, uh, host or hostess? A person who greets arriving guests. Welcomes them Personal into greets. the restaurant and sit them. Ah, sit them. And kitchen, kitchen manager? It's not chicken, right? It's kitchen. Who is the kitchen manager? A person who hires a staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. So based on that, we have the last one that would be the person handling payments in the restaurant is the cashier. Okay, yes. so let's go one by one. Okay, uh, listen and repeat. Executive chef, executive chef. Executive chef. Executive chef. Executive chef. Okay. Server. 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 Host. 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 Host.
Cashier. 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 Okay, so it's a longer E, right? Cashier. Very Cashier. good. So, a definition, right, or description. The person handling payments in a restaurant. Person the person handling, handling payments, payments in a restaurant. 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 Okay, handling payments. Very good. Handling. Handling, handling payments. Handling. handling payments. Handling. And the second one, uh, a person in charge of creating menus. A person in a charge person of, of creating, creating menus. A person in charge of creating menus. Managing kitchen staff. Managing, Managing kitchen, kitchen staff. staff. And food standards. And, and food and standards. 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 Standards, okay, that's correct. Standards. The next one, a person who hires staff. A person who hires staff. staff. Hire staff, okay, so in that case, what you do is to pronounce only one S, only one S. Hire, hire staff, hire staff. staff. Is for example, the same when you say police station, police station. So police station. So you have two sounds, right? S, police station. So you pronounce only one, police station, police station. Okay. So higher staff, uh, higher staff. Higher staff. Purchases food. Purchases food. Purchases food. Food. Purchases food. And make sure everyone is trained. And, and make sure, sure everyone, everyone is trained. 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 Everyone is trained, okay? Everyone's trained. That's correct. Trained. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. A waiter, a waiter or waitress, waitress and who attends customers, customers and drink. And drink. That's right. A person who greets arriving guests. A person, a person who, who greets, greets arriving, guests, arriving guests. Welcomes them into the restaurant. Welcomes welcome them to the restaurant. restaurant. And sits them. 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 Okay, that's correct. So that's what you're going to practice, okay? Uh, I'm going to do it in person. You have enough time to practice individually, and uh, but you will do it with the with the name of the of the staff, right? So, for example, you will say uh, cashier is a person handling payments in a restaurant, and then you go with the, the number two, three, four, one. Okay. Uh, so I repeat quickly just for you to to listen. Okay. Secret chef server, host or hostess, kitchen manager, cashier, in the descriptions, the person handling payments in a restaurant, a person in charge of creating, creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards, a person who hires staff, purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained, a waiter or a waitress who attends customers with food and drink, Person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and sits them. So that's what you're going to practice. Okay. Uh, going to make some modifications here. Give me a second. So you are. Okay. So based on this, we have. That's pretty okay. Six and seven. Perfect. So I'm going to open the breaker rooms. You have exactly four minutes, no more, to practice. Okay, perfect.
an invitation, please, to go to the breakout room. Yeah, all of them together. The, the, the part number four. Uh, sorry, teacher, I have a little confused. Uh, Exercise number three. You are going to read the definition, the descriptions. Okay. And the name of the of the staff members. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, item number one: execute, execute chef. Executive, executive chef. chef. Executive chef. Executive chef. Executive and then you read the definition. Uh -huh. One by one. So you do that one by one. Okay. Okay. To practice pronunciation. Okay. Influence. Okay. Executive okay. chef, server, hops. Some handsome payments in a restaurant. Okay. Uh, executive chef is a person in charge of creating menus? I think, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yes. What? It is? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, <laughs> a, a, person, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. A kitchen manager is a person who hires staff, purchase food, and make sure everyone is trained. Okay, a server. Okay, a person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Who, who's, who's this? The last one. A person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them. A kitchen manager, a person who hires staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. And cashier, the person handling payments in a restaurant. Yes, that's good. Okay. Thank you, it's your turn. Okay. Executive chef is a person in charge of creating Creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and, and food stand. Okay, so person in charge. In charge. In charge. Okay, that's correct. Okay. A service is an waiter or waitress who attends customer with. Okay, and that was the last one. We can do it, I guess. Okay. If you want. Exactly. Yes, of course, we can. Are you done? Uh, yes. Okay. Both of you read the definition, the descriptions, and the staff members, right? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So you have approximately one more minute. Okay, enough time to practice. And yeah. number one, okay, Jennifer, it's your turn. Number one. It's Executive chef, a person in charge of creating menu, menu, managing kitchen styles and food standards. Okay, number two, server. It's a waiter or waitress who attend in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standard. It's an executive chef. A person who hires staff, purchase food, and make sure everyone is training is a kitchen manager. Right. A waiter or waitress who attends 
customer with food and drinks is a server. And a person who greets a or hostess. No, it's waiter. Wait there. It's waiter. Wait, waiter. Waiter and waiter waitress. or waitress. Or waitress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or waitress. Waiter or waitress. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you about to finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. You have a question, Karen? No. No. I have a pain in my shoulder. I have an accident today. Really? What One car uh, hit me by in the back. In the back. Oh so my when, God. when 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 you do this, the mm -hmm. the seat belt, uh, uh, me detiene aquí, and I have a pain here in the shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Carla had an accident too. Really? Yeah, she she was uh, waiting for the insurance company when when we started the class. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so, so today was yeah. the day of the accident. <laughs> yes. I think there are accidents every day in San Salvador, right? Like yeah, every day. Everywhere you see accidents. Mm -hmm. So the important <laughs> is we are okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you got an back. insurance? Yes. Okay, okay. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, everything it's okay. Nice. That kind of thing happens. Okay. <laughs> Good to know that. All righty. So uh, we're done with the pronunciation practice and also with the descriptions, right, or definitions. Uh, as you could see, right, there are... Uh, new words or words that we have to pay more attention to in terms of pronunciation. And that's what we're going to be doing, okay, for the rest of the course. So uh, the purpose of emphasizing or working a little bit more right on the pronunciation is that you have more confidence. So for that reason, I, it's important to tell you or to remind you that Yes, it's true that uh, people feel nervous uh, when they have to speak in English because they, they are afraid of making a mistake in, pr in pronouncing the words or saying something inappropriately. But remember that you are learners. You are learners. So as a learner, you have the license, you have the freedom, the permission to make all the mistakes that you want. And nobody has to tell you anything about that because you're learning. So, um, the problem is if you make mistakes in Spanish, <laughs> because <laughs> that's your language, right? So uh, you should you should know how to speak your language. Um, I got even, teacher. But but, but even, yeah, yeah. I but, got treparse, but, apiarse. But, uh -huh, but even in, in Spanish, it's it's possible that we make mistakes because we we are not as experts. Now, uh, so what I'm telling you is that when you when you put uh, more emphasis, right, on pronouncing the words correctly or expressing your ideas and participating, you gain confidence. And confidence is really important when you're learning anything, right? So uh, that's my point, okay? That you, I will do my best to teach you, right? But make sure to participate, to practice, to expose yourself and pay attention to the way that the language is used, right? So then you can repeat. And when you have to talk about food, for example, or when you go to a restaurant uh, here or in another country, you can, I mean, you can tell uh, how to differentiate the words, right? You can, uh, you are sure, you, you're confident about, about that, right? So um, the last exercise that we're going to be doing from, from, the, from the manual is the number four. You're going to discuss the questions, okay? Question number one, Beatriz. When does Jenny's ship start? 
Okay. Uh, Freddy's question number two. Just a question or the answer? Two. Just a question. What What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? And number three, Francisco. What does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? To 6 p.m., okay? So simple, right? So we have three questions that you have to answer about the conversation that we had before this exercise. What is the conversation? This one, right? Number two. So um, let me share with you the link. Yeah, we have enough time. So quickly, I'm going to share with you a link uh, uh, just to have an idea, right? Just for you to have an idea about how important it is to pay attention to the additional or to the extra resources that they, they offer you in the manual, okay? As you can see, there are two in this case. One is a video and the other one is exercises to practice vocabulary related to restaurant. So in this case, you are going to do two activities. Number one, you are going to answer the questions, discuss the questions and answer with your partner. And then uh, one of you can share the video or can watch it individually the first five minutes, okay? The first five minutes only, okay? So uh, you can practice with the vocabulary that appears there. So in total, I will give you 10 minutes, okay? So that would be for sharing, you have maximum five minutes and for watching the video, five minutes more. So here we go. And it will be the same breakout rooms, okay? I'm going to share the link through the chat right now. So you can open it later when you are in the breakout room. There you go. So remember, you're going to watch just the time that you can, okay? You start counting 10 minutes uh, for the discussion of the question, the three questions, and then you watch as much as you can from the video. When you come back, I'm going to ask you for the answers of the three questions and your opinion about what you learn or what you watch in the video. Ready, set, and go. 10 minutes, don't forget. I didn't get the invitation, teacher. Okay, let me send it to you again. Thank you. that she can serve for the rest of the afternoon. Up till six, exactly. She... Hi, teacher. Hello. Nine AM hostess. She's 
can serve for the rest of that. No, she can serve just like that, brother. Just I like think... that, right? Yes. As she has to yes, do. Sir. She have to do. Yeah, the question is, what does she have to do from one to six? From one to six. She has to oh. serve. She has to serve. Has, uh, to. has to serve. For the, adapt them, right? Yes, for the rest of the afternoon. Okay, or you can just say she has to serve uh, from one for the customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because in the question you have, what does she have to do from one to six? Mm -hmm. Exactly. She has to serve uh, from to the customers. This we have to fix like the third question. The this answer, right? Which Those, is number one. Yeah. yeah Those uh, are so short. No, that's okay. You can say, it, of course, you can say it starts at 9 a.m. That's an option. Okay, but yeah, wow. you got the answer. So I guess that now you can uh, go on and watch the part of the video. So you okay. have approximately six or seven minutes more. Yeah, seven, seven minutes. minutes more. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome.
Okay. So I know that it was not possible to finish the whole thing, right? The whole, the whole video. However, uh, you can find many more resources uh, similar to that one. Uh, if you, well, use that YouTube channel or you directly go to the internet, right? And you Google uh, the specific topic or video or, or exercise that you would like to do or the topic that you would like to practice. So in this case, uh, I'm going to ask you the, for the answers of the three questions quickly. So I need uh, to share the screen and three volunteers. Okay, the first three people to raise a hand to give me the answers for the questions on the exercise number four. Okay, so I need the three volunteers. Francisco, one, Jennifer, two, and number three will be four. Check. Francisco, Jennifer, one more person to answer the question. Okay. Freddy's, got it. So, number one, when does Jenny's shift start? For night to 11 a.m. It starts at? Night to 11 a.m. Okay, so you have to say only uh, it starts at nine. Okay, it's the time that it, the, the chief starts, right? So only the beginning. Uh, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Jennifer? Jenny's job is a hostess. Okay, it's she's a hostess. hostess. That's correct. And the number three, Freddy's, what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? She has to serve. She has to serve. Okay, so that's it, right? So she's going to be uh, welcoming, right? People, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, uh, but especially her job is to serve. That's that's all. And we're going to move on. And uh, as part of the second exercise, as you can see here, the second link that they are sharing with you, there's also uh, another place where you can practice. What can you practice? Specific vocabulary related to restaurants. So right now we're going to do just some, okay, some exercises. And uh, we have five here. So number one, are you, space, ready or prepared to order? Two, our, space, specials or deals are on the menu. Uh, it's a little cor correction there that I have to make. What do you, space, recommend or request? That is when you go to a restaurant and you ask the waiter, right? or the waitress for a, for a suggestion. Uh, the meal of the special of the day is spaghetti and meatballs. And number five, okay, I'll be right back or return with your back. order. So, uh, what? Okay, <laughs> so uh, you will be doing that. And give me just a sec. Going to make the correction because in the, there shouldn't be any kind of stress mark. Perfect. So quickly, you will have just let me check the time. Well, we don't have that much time right now. So we just have three minutes. Think about the answers, write them down in your notebook. Just the answer, okay? Number, answer, number, answer. And then we're going to check together. So take your time. Maximum three minutes to select the correct option. Only one is correct, okay?
Um, Carla, I was going to ask you if you could stay uh, for the extra 10 minutes today. Uh, yes, teacher, but it's today. I make some. It's, I it's on Wednesday. Wednesday. It's on Wednesday, yeah, but Miguel is not here and Maritza is not here, yes. so. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Cool, thank you. I'm going to take the attendance as you are finishing the exercise. Uh, Beatriz, are you there? Okay, uh, Elizabeth, Mariela. I'm here, thank you. Okay. Brenda? I'm here. Marla? Then we have Diana. I'm here. Present. Yes. Uh, Flor? I'm here. Francisco? I'm here, teacher. Right there. Good. Let's continue with Laura. Present teacher. Jennifer. Present teacher. And then we have Karen. Present. Excellent. Uh, well, we have Merlin, Miguel Angel, Rolando. Present. Ruth. Thank you. Suleyma. I'm here. <laughs> the trio is spending, says I'm Francisco. Here, okay, thank you, Yanari. And then we have Jackie. I'm here. Blanca. Redis. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for uh, answering. And now we're going to check your answers about the exercise. Number one, you want volunteer? Okay, Diana. Me. Are you ready okay. to order? Are you ready to order? That's correct. Yanari, number two. Our specials are you are on the menu. Our specials are on the menu. That's right. Number three, Jennifer. Or Beatrice. Okay. You Sorry, teacher. What okay, do no you problem. recommend? Recommend. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to recommend right now. Uh, let's continue with uh, Beatrice. Number four. The meal of the day, right? That's correct. And the last one, number five, one more volunteer. Tick, tack, tick, tack. Okay, I'll be right back with your order. Yes, I'll be right back with your order. Okay, I, I will return, right? So, but in this case, be right, I will be right back. That is a compliment. I will be right back. Like I'll be back, the Schwarzenegger, right? The Terminator. So um, basically that will be all for today, guys. We're missing just, well, we're not missing any minutes. We're, I already took one minute from your time. So uh, do you have any questions or comments before we finish today's class? Remember that this is the beginning of the week number four. We are getting closer to the end. Uh, so we have to do our best to learn more and more and more. And Diana, you raise your hand. Go ahead, please. Uh, just saying that the video was really interesting. And in the time I was watching it, I learned two, no, three new words. Three new words. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
Uh, okay, somebody is writing in the chat. I don't know what they're talking about, but tomorrow at eight, they say. I don't know what happens, yeah. So see you tomorrow, guys, at the same time, same place, with the same teacher and classmates. It was a pleasure to be with you one more time. Have a good night and get enough rest, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Thank guys. you thank for you. everything. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Que siga mejor, Brenda. Yes, Brenda. Take care of yourself. Carla, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. So uh, I know you were you were waiting for Thursday for Wednesday, but there was a little change of plans. Okay, no problem. Okay. So tell me, uh, did you fix the problem with the with the car accident? Yes. Insurance. Uh, yes, I. It, it is not uh, a, a big uh, hit, okay? Yeah, it's, it's not a big, a big crash. So. It, it's, not, it's not a big crash, but in my car is white and the car that um, hit me is black. Oh. It, it, it is not, it's not a big, but it's black all the back of my car. Wow. But the other person didn't didn't run away, right? But... No, he's I don't know, he or she she's she's gone. He's gone. Really? Yes, because it was raining a lot here and I was trying to uh in ret retornar, re return. Return, uh -huh. I was trying to return and then uh, I just wait, wait for that because the traffic, it was difficult. It was raining a lot, but the car doesn't have patient and me sobrepaso. How to say me sobrepaso? Right over. Right? Over. Over, right over me and hit my car. I, I I had to fix I had to fix and maybe next week. Yeah, you have to wait until they give it back to you. Yes. Okay, I'm questions. sorry about that. Okay, so I tell me, what are the questions? Yes, just give me a minute. I was trying to open the platform because I have some questions, but I I leave the paper in my office. Oh. But I mean, I remember some some questions. The platform just was trying to to open it. Do you live in San Miguel, right? Yes, I do. It's very hot, or no? It is. It is. But somehow you get used to it. Okay, teacher, in the unit two procedures, I uh, do all the exercise, but the number three, um, I, it's incorrect, but I don't know what, because I write afterwards. I don't know if you can share the screen with me. Yes, I'm going to you. Uh, 
So you are from San Salvador, right? Yes, actually, um, normally I live in Santa Tecla, but I work in a, like in a San Sonate. And recently I moved to Lourdes. Okay. Arboledas. Can you see, teacher, the my screen? Yes, yes, I can see it. So you try with different answers and nothing worked. Yes, no, it's 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 not. It's always uh, red. Let me check that out. Exercise two, you said, well, unit two? Yes, it's from unit two, exercise 2.14. It's the last one, yeah. So in that case, uh, the one that you did you practice, did you try with the with the transition then? Then Cause, yeah, because we have three, yeah. right? That we practice after that, afterwards, and then. Oh no, let me try then. Like this. Uh -huh, but yeah, without capital letter, I think it doesn't affect the answer, but yeah. Okay, I wanna I wanna I wanna okay. try. Ah yes. You got it. <laughs> okay. Yes, I got so, it. So yes, Thanks. that's the one that you were missing. You're welcome. Okay, what other question do you have? Let me let me check. And maybe in the midterm. And this one, Volant. Okay, yeah. So for this one, uh, we have we were discussing a lot uh, with your classmates, right, uh, about this one because they have problems with that one too. Uh, well, first of all, you have two spaces there. So it's only one space. Mm -hmm. Would it be better? Uh, two eyes. Maybe it's a question number two. Would it be better to revise? You are missing to revise there better to revise the manual Wouldn't before it printing be, it'd be better to revise oh, mm -hmm. i guess i lost that okay. revise. Mm 
Yeah, I think that it's because you were copying and pasting the, the text. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to um, take some notes and then I'm going to write again. That's right. So that's how would it be better to revise the manual before printing and then the, the other one uh, said it would be good if we changed it's a sentence it's not a question it would be good so if the, we change, if we the, change dress the dress code, code. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. but you have it as a question you see you have it would it be good but it's it would be good so the order is different Uh, it would be a good idea uh, to have a training manual for chefs. Manual for chefs. And then period. Chefs. Period. Sometimes that makes a difference. Okay, teacher. Yeah, it's sometimes punctuation or a little typo right on the platform. But yes, okay. that's that, that. Those are the answers. Okay, teacher. If Thank you still you. if it doesn't work, you have to let me know, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. For now, I remember that that's the only question that I have. Um, okay. uh, let me check with my notes at the office, and if I have another question, I'm gonna send you a message. Okay, perfect. I will be waiting for that. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Take care.